October 10th. I'm in the stand with my buddy Joshua from Pennsylvania. We have an objective of shooting five does total on this property, mature does. Yes, there's just way too many does here. Like if you walk through the woods, there's literally a browse line at four feet that's just like wiped out all the way through the property. And we don't have food plots this year because we didn't get the property till October. We have three more doe tags that need to be filled on the property. Joshua's got an either sex tag. We'll see what happens. We just saw a couple does, but they're both on the small side. And if we're trying to take out deer to reduce deer numbers, shooting a yearling fawn this time of year really probably isn't going to do the biggest help for the feeding scenario. So we'll see what happens. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Brotherhood Outdoor. So I'm actually in the stand with the recurve. Oh yeah. Recurve ball hunting. Funny story. I was walking into the stand. I came up on a doe that was bedded down and I got within 12 yards. It was so close. I was so close to her. And I was like, man, I'm going to shoot this deer. And I'm like, oh shoot. Probably shouldn't because we've already shot four does this year. We just really shouldn't take another doe. We're still seeing a lot of does, but not enough to keep shooting them. I gave her the pass, even though it would have been so cool. 12 yard shot, she was bedded down, and then I let her stand up, and she stood up looking the opposite way. 12 yards, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that's like the perfect situation. Wind was blowing in my face, like 12 to 13 miles an hour was pretty strong. She couldn't smell me, she couldn't hear me, because the wind was blowing at me, and I walked right up on side of her. Um, it was blowing like from her straight at me. And so she could hear me, she could smell me. I mean, it was just perfect. But I've got the recurve, and we're hoping for a buck. I'm not going to shoot another doe here. I have a bunch of doe tags, but we're trying to keep the does at four only on this property um, annually so that we have a good ratio for does to bucks and so we don't have too much browse. Come late season when they're feeding on a bunch of woody browse is what I'm referring to, but we'll see what happens about the last hour and a half. So, fingers crossed, I need a deer 20 yards or less.
Yeah, the second one you grazed her, but you missed. I mean, you didn't you didn't cut any skin. Oh, I think I jumped. I think I'm so shaky over the first one. I'm so torn on what happened to the first one. I know like, it could hit a little back, but I'm not sure. It wasn't back at you all. You think it was no. either between the heart and the lungs? I don't think it was too. No, you didn't hit back at all. That's why I was kind of confused. I saw the stick in her though. So with that first deer, there was a. It was a. Freaking huge doe. I mean, it's a freaking, monster doe. stuck in your head and I saw it stick in your That first year, I played in slow motion. The shot looked perfect, like, to me. It looked like, like textbook perfect. Um, perfectly broadside, 20 yards on the dot. Like, not a, not a yard further. I mean, exactly 20 yards. For me, the shot looked like it was perfect on that on that deer that you just shot. But then we watched her like walk around and then take her time and like she didn't go down. And then she was just slowly walking off. So like I don't know if because of her adrenaline she didn't take off quick or because she didn't know what happened. Or freaking it only got one long, I don't know. But I don't know what happened, but it looked it looked really good. So we're gonna have to look back at the video and see if we can tell how much penetration she got. This is one of the parts of hunting that nobody likes. Nobody really likes to talk about, but it just it happens bow hunting and it can happen gun hunting, but it's more common bow hunting. If you look at the video really close, it, I mean it looks like it's gonna be a perfect shot, right? But you have to keep in mind. My wife, Reagan, is shooting 40 pounds. She's not shooting 50, she's not shooting 60, she's not shooting 70, she's shooting 40 pounds. Therefore, her bow does not have a lot of kinetic energy and it doesn't have a lot of penetration like power or force. You know, even though she's shooting a 100 grain broadhead, a heavy arrow here, like, She's shooting a, a fairly heavy setup because she knows she's only shooting 25 or less. She just needs something that's heavy and hits hard at closer ranges because that's all she's shooting and that's what she needs penetration on her side when i saw the shot the first thing i was like oh dude you smoked her like you smoked that deer she's dead like that, like that's a good shot the placement looked really good because i know the anatomy of a deer and i know that behind where she hit there's lungs and a little bit lower there's heart so like i know i knew like the placement was good the problem is when you're shooting 40 pounds if you hit any big tough muscle you hit any like bone structure that gets in the way anything like that it's not gonna happen like it's just not going to be lethal if you hit anything like that that's a non-lethal um, shot placement if you hit a big slab of meat on the shoulder or leg or anything like that that you have to punch through to get to you know the kill zone so to speak which in her case she's trying to shoot behind the shoulder but in the ribs because that's what she needs to be able to get this arrow to penetrate you know eight to ten inches and at least put it sink it right there in the kill zone to kill a deer what had happened with her shot was she had hit about two inches forward more than she needed to and that deer didn't like duck like crazy or anything like absurd but it she did like jolt just down a little bit and I think she moved her shoulder muscle back just enough between her muscle and bone, like just enough to where it got in the way of her shot placement. If you look at the arrow here, that deer is gonna live to see another day. Um, there was a little bit of meat and a, hardly any blood, pretty much just like meat and it's like some sticky residue, which is just probably from the meat and the hide, but it went about to here okay this is where the moisture on the arrow stopped from here all out there was nothing on the arrow there was no blood the broadhead wasn't like covered in blood and it was in the deer for about 15 yards and just fell out that's how much penetration she got from here to here so two inches and i had the same thing happen to me and i was shooting 70 pounds and the same thing happened to me and uh I hit a buck in the shoulder, like right in the shoulder blade, like right in the bone, and I got two inches, and then that was it. Nothing happened. I mean, we hardly found it. We didn't really find any blood. The arrow was broke off two inches because I held it next to one of my other arrows, and I'm like, that's two inches. I matched it up, and it was broke off like two inches from the broadhead. There was no blood all the way up the shaft or anything. Um, it was all bone dry, and just that one little piece was missing at the top. So I was, 
I mean, I was sick to my stomach because it was a big buck. She's just kind of bummed because like she's been refusing to take the crossbow up because she she practiced with her bow like a lot. Like she shoots really good with her bow. She she does a lot of 20 and 25 yard shooting, some even 30 yard shooting, even though she she's not gonna shoot deer that far. She's, she passes deer that are 30 yards. She shoots confident, she shoots good. So, you know, there was no reason why she, she didn't feel confident shooting her compound. There's no reason why I didn't think she was good enough to take her compound out. Just one of those unfortunate things to where like the deer moves just enough and the shot was just, just a hair forward. Like I'm talking like this much too far forward. Well, that was a big mature doe. It's not like it was a young deer. I mean, it was a, she, it was a big deer. And there was another mature doe behind her. She actually missed that one, grazed it, but nothing lethal. But that deer ducked and turned like a lot because she has two doe tags and so she was gonna try to shoot another doe but we thought this shot was really good turns out it wasn't just like a little flesh wound it's not even gonna kill that deer in any way the deer will live to see another day she even as soon as we got home she was out there practicing shooting her bow and she's like I i'm shooting really good like i don't get it and i'm like no you didn't sh you didn't make a bad shot it just landed in like one of the few locations on a deer that can stop an arrow especially a low poundage bow and kind of like save its life so to speak like it just it's one of those you know, unfortunate things. And before anybody goes down to comments, goes, oh, you shouldn't be bow hunting if you can't, you know, heart shoot a deer every single time. You know, shut your mouth, you're an idiot. If that's the way you look at the outdoors and you think if you're not making a perfect heart shot every single time, and if you don't get a, a perfect like TV worthy experience every time you're out in the woods, why are you out in the woods if that's the way you think hunting is always about? Because it just doesn't happen. And you now the difference is somebody like us, we film our mistakes and we share our mistakes that hopefully you don't make those mistakes. So when you take that as an opportunity to criticize people as if you've never ever had an unfortunate event happen out in the woods, it's just messed up. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys got some education out of it on shot placement and stuff. Just remember when you're shooting a shoulder of a deer, there is a spine that runs down through that shoulder. You're not gonna penetrate with a bow. And I don't care what anybody says like, oh yeah, I shoot through shoulders on deer all the time. No, there's like the soft bone that's off to the side of the shoulder spine, but then there's like a hard edge that goes right down that shoulder bone. You're not shooting through that. Subscribe. By the way, if you want to win this truck that I'm sitting in, it's a beautiful 2004 59 Cummins. If you want to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, we're giving it away. Link in the description below. Just go to lnpgear.com. You can buy uh, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, anything off the store, and every $1 right now is going to get you five entries towards winning this truck plus five grand. Something we do every month to give back to our people who support us through purchasing our merch and supporting what we do because that's pretty much the only way we make any kind of revenue to keep doing this kind of stuff for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.